Kersney Easter Rugby Festival in KZN has grown in popularity and is regarded as one of the premier events on the schoolboy rugby calendar with 12 quality teams in attendance. We are loving the Kersney Easter Festival. It's had been a great time and it rocks. On day two, the hosts, Kersney, took on juggernauts from the Western Cape, Paul Gymnasium. Kersney took an early lead through the boot of Tristan Tedder, but it was short-lived with Paul Chim's SA School's lock, J.D. Schickelin crashing over for a try. Kersney found themselves trailing 12-6 at halftime and knew to take something special to stop the Chimis' onslaught. However, it was not to be, as Paul Chim was simply too strong on the day, scoring three more tries, including this one from Ueno Fasaki. Chimis cruising to an impressive 33-6 victory to stamp their authority on the season ahead. Yeah, it was a very hard game. Fisies, they had us not begin, but later on, it was not going to fight, and they dominated us always. I think it's uh, Paul Chim was probably one of the top sides in the country, and uh, they played very well. They're very physical. We, we, we didn't match up there, I'm, I'm sad to say, but uh, they, uh, they're a good side. In an interesting ritual, Salborn College looked to draw inspiration from their mascot with a silent prayer. With mascots, coaches, fans and all, it was time for Salborn to take on the green machine, Glenwood. It was Glenwood who drew first blood with a fantastic try from exciting fullback Morne Yubad. The green machine was on a roll and some slick handling skills were beautifully finished off by Spamantla Ngobo as the flying wing completed his hat-trick. Springbok legend Dick Muir looked on as the Glenwood tries kept coming. Number 8, Yaku Kutsia crossing the whitewash to complete a 41-5 triumph. Yeah, we had a hard game. We got uh, beaten by the big boys of Glenwood, but we got bullied a bit, but uh, always room for improvement. Worst world Dr. Eichia Janssen were pumped up for their encounter with Stellenbosch powerhouse Bol Ruiz Gymnasium. Paul Ruiz were full of running and talented outside centre Tristan Kramer went over for an excellent try. A half-time pep talk from the Eichia Janssen coach seemed to do the trick. An incredible offload from Eichia Janssen fly-half Ruan Borchita put centre Sampi Hearn in for a brilliant try. Eichia Janssen completed an impressive upset, defeating Paul Ruiz 29-12. Today we played against Paul Ruiz. It's a tight physical game, but in the end we stuck to our structure and luckily in the end we got through. Next up, it was Grey College from Bloemfontein against Wood School Framesby. Grey quickly hit their stride in the match and were in sublime form as flank Marius Lowe scored a great try. Grey continued to pile on the pressure and tries from wing Diu Ferreira and then David Besaidenot and Grey well on top despite some heroic tackling from the Framesby boys. Five first half tries giving Grey a convincing 36-9 victory. We had a great game. Um... We kept all our position in the first half, uh, scored a few tries most of the, the first half, uh, all our tries in the first half and uh, our second, uh, second half we lost most of the possession, um, so uh, basically we kept them in the game. Boerland, Lanpo and Nico Boerland clashed in an exciting matchup, a fast-flowing game between two quality sides. While Nico Boerland produced a few moments of brilliance, it was the powerful Boerland Lanpo forward pack that dictated proceedings. And when Nico Boerland had a player red carded, this gave Lanpo's dominant forwards a slight advantage, scoring a great try. Boerland Lanpo eventually running in five tries to complete an impressive 38-16 win over a tough Nico Boerland outfit their first win of the festival. One of the best schools in the country this year is likely to be Odeniqua from George. The team's outstanding backline is particularly strong, as the Westville team will attest to after their encounter. Odeniqua proved to be too strong and defeated a tough Westville side 33-7. This Kersney tournament actually is very good for us because us youngsters, we need a way forward after school. And I believe there's a lot of scouts here to, to check out our talents. So a few Oaks walk away with a few contracts here to, to better themselves in their rugby careers. And I believe that's a, it's a very good way to build the South African rugby system.